I don't really know what I was thinking about. Was I thinking? Hello friends, it's Kat from Meow Meow Kapow. I actually just had to pull this out recently. This is the first travel watercolor kit that I ever made. Uh, and I actually think that probably this is where I peaked. Well, let me walk you through it. So first of all, it's covered in gorgeous washi tape, which I've been doing since the start. To keep it secured, I have these little hair bands. Now, the reason it needs to be secured is because on the back, I've got a little book and I've also got my paper towel there for, you know, blotting and stuff. Uh, if you want to know how to make this book, this is a maze book. I actually just posted my Skillshare course. It's down in the doobly-doo and I show you how to make, I think, five different kinds of books. I would love to get your feedback on that. So I'm going to take off the little hair bands. They're holding those on. So my little maze book here and it's made out of watercolor paper so I can paint on it and then I've got that. Now this is just an Altoids tin, but it's actually one and a half Altoids tins. The bottom, this is another top. So I'm going to take off this and you'll see in here I've got my little swatch chart for what's inside. Uh, and then if I take that off, it's connected with magnets. So I've also got the first ever one of these where I made the dividers out of hot glue, <laughs> which who knows why hot glue and packing tape are everything in my universe, but they are. So for my swatch chart, I've got all of the colors on one side and each of the little spots is labeled with a number. And then on the back, I've got the number and then also the name of that color. So I'm just gonna slap that on there so it just stays out of the way. For the palette itself, if you open it up, there's all sorts of goodies inside. So I've got this little thing, which is just supposed to be able to like scratch and make marks. I never do. Um, I've also got a mixing spot on the top that is also held in with magnets because you know I love my magnets and this was just made out of some wax paper and then also some hot glue and it's got this little tab so that I can pull it up if I need to and then inside I've got a tiny little spray bottle to re-wet things a tiny little um, water brush that comes in two parts and then you can put it back together some little clips an itsy bitsy pencil eraser and then if you look in the bottom I've got a piece of wax paper that's over top of my paints so that they don't get everything else wet and they can all live together in ha harmony but if I pull up the side which there's a tab there too and it's attached by a magnet then I can get to my paints now I just put all of those paints inside of a used up uh, pill container so the way that you use this one is I've got this you know folded out of the way whatever I'll let the magnet not do its job and pull to the bottom. There we go, I had to flip it over. It's been a while, I actually haven't used this one, as you can tell from it being in pristine condition. So then you take the other lid and you put it on either side, doesn't really matter which side it is. Grab one of the clips and you clip it on. So then you've got tons of mixing space, either in here or up there. Um, and if you really wanted to go nuts and you had to mix all of the colors in the universe, you can peel this off and you can put it on the table next to you if you have to. Um, and then that's it. I love those paints, by the way, the, the Magello Mission Gold. They were my first like real watercolors that I got. Actually, they were just the first watercolors that I really got aside from some in college that are in a box somewhere. I'll try and find them if you want me to. <laughs> yeah, I figured that I would go down this memory lane with you even though it's only two years old seeing my first travel palette this is it this is what started the whole obsession with making travel palettes and finding the most efficient ways to do things and this took me like two days to make because i didn't really know what i was doing and there was nobody that was doing anything that was like this online like nobody at all i mean maybe people were using altoids palettes but they weren't using altoids tins but they weren't using like another lid to have extra mixing space and definitely nobody was using uh hot glue to make mixing wells because i felt like the most clever person in the universe when i came up with that um and actually you know what jennifer tarley saw this not this particular palette but saw this and she also made a video of her making mixing wells out of hot glue i'm gonna link that down there she took a makeup palette and turned it into a watercolor palette but then also used the hot glue method to give herself some extra mixing walls which is super rad yeah let me just show you it getting all packed up again
And that's it. That is my first ever travel watercolor kit. Uh, I should really use it. I feel really guilty for not using it. And you know what? You guys are long overdue for a review on the Magello Mission Gold paints because they really do hold a special place in my heart given that they are kind of what started this whole thing. The whole reason that I even have a YouTube channel. About that Skillshare course that I mentioned earlier, uh, please, if you already have a Skillshare account, please check it out. I would love it. I would love if you would give me feedback. I would love if you just learned something from me or if you say that it wasn't helpful because you didn't or say that it was because you did. Uh, I want to make more courses on there and I want to teach more bigger things. Like I did a video a while ago making this book on my YouTube, funnily enough, as a collaboration with Jennifer Charlie, who I mentioned earlier. And uh, I said that I would teach how to make it, and I did. I made the course specifically to help build up the basic skills that you need in order to make this much more easily. And then I even did one book past this as far as like skills go. It's, it's, it makes sense when you watch it. At least I hope it makes sense that it makes sense the progression of the lessons. Um, I'd also like to know what my next course should be if you're interested in it. If you don't have a Skillshare account already, then if you look down in the doobly-doo, there is actually a link for you to get two free months. So that would be super great. I'd love if you can check out my course. I spent a lot of time working on it and I'm proud of it and I want you guys to like it. Okay, anyway, uh, until I see you next time, I wish you peace, love, and good memories. Bye. Hi, Tinky. Uh, that's interesting. Hi.